congratulations if you're seeing this for the first time. I'm very proud of both of you, and welcome to the family. Woo! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, congratulations. It'll be nice to have you guys as a good part of the family. We had a promise made for us and then away, both under influence. We had most beautiful bride. You are one of my best friends and you and Wade together are absolutely perfect. There's no words for it at all. What's up? So Cal? What's up Wade and Serena? What's going on? One night of magic rush, the star to simple touch. One night to push and scream And then relieve Ten days of perfect tears The colors red and blue We had a promise made We were in love To call for hands of a husband husbands love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her you have a high calling to nourish cherish and care for her as Christ does his church in the same way husbands ought to love their wives so you're supposed to love Serena the same way that Jesus loves his church in what way is that he died <laughs> so you must be willing to give your life for your wife. And sometimes people think, well, that's a bad thing. I got to give my life. And they, there's sayings like the old ball and chain. But we have to remember that after Christ died for the church, he was raised. He was resurrected. So this is not just a, a, a death to you, Wade. <laughs> this is actually a resurrection to a new life together. And so your priority, your first priority besides God is now your new wife. You live for her, you die for her, you take care of her, you put her needs before your very own needs. Ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> now, in the context of that commandment to the husband, to Serena, the scriptures say, Wives, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as Christ is head to the church, his body of which he is the Savior. You have a high calling as his exclusive, intimate lover, helper, and partner in life. Now, when the Bible says wives submit to your husbands, that does not mean, Wade, that you are the complete boss of her. <laughs> and you are not the boss of him either. Yes, she is. <laughs> because when, uh, when God created Eve, God took Eve from Adam's rib, not Adam's foot bone. <laughs> so she is not under you. And God did not take Eve out of Adam's skull, so she is not over it. God took Eve out of Adam's rib. So you walk alongside. And what do the ribs do? The ribs protect the heart. Your job is to guard his heart, to stand by your man, to support him, uh, to 
in his decisions and to help guide him in his decisions. And, you know, a good wife will make her husband feel like he can conquer the world. So that's your job. And to both of you, the scriptures say, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. So marriage was instituted by God himself, and he performed the first marriage. When a man and a woman have chosen each other and have come to that moment when they sincerely and publicly join in this covenant for life, they lay down on the altar a holy sacrifice to God, to each other, and to humanity. The union into which you are now about to enter is the closest and most tender into which human beings can come. It is a union founded on mutual love and affection. Marriage is God's institution intended for the happiness and welfare of humankind. A union embodying such ideals is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly and in the fear of God. Into such a union, you come now to be joined. Wait. Before God and these witnesses, will you, Wade, take Serena to be your wife? Will you love and comfort her, honor and keep her, and in joy and sorrow, preserve with her this bond? holy and unbroken, as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Serena. Before, before God and these witnesses, will you, Serena, take Wade to be your husband? Will you love and comfort him, honor and keep him, and in joy and sorrow, Preserve with him this bond, holy and unbroken, as long as you both shall live. I do. All right. Wade and Serena, have they have uh, prepared their own wedding vows? So at this time, I'm going to ask Wade to start first. Today, Serena, I join my life to yours, not merely as your husband, but as your lover, your confidant, and your best friend. Let me be the shoulder that you lean on, the rock that you can rest on, and the companion of your life. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I choose you, Serena, to be the one who will <clears throat> walk by my side for the rest of this life and into the next. I love you. Wade, I love you. You're my best friend. Today I give myself to you today in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, to comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> when our love is simple and when it's an effort, I promise to cherish you and hold you in the highest regards. These things I give you today and the rest of my life. I love you. Can I have a ring, please? As a token of this covenant, you will now give and receive the marriage rings. The unbroken unbro circle represents the emblem of eternity, and the gold represents the emblem of that which is least tarnished and most enduring. They are to show how lasting is the covenant pledge you made to one another.
With these emblems of purity and endless devotion, you win. And these marriage vows, you here and now, forever sealed. And as much as you, Wade, and as you, Serena, have thus consented in holy matrimony, and have witnessed the same before God and these family and friends, by virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the word of God, and by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. You may now kiss your body. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody said? Amen. Amen. I'm honored to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Wade Adams. strives to find a person that is right for them and obviously you guys have found each other and I'm so happy for both of you and I hope you guys live a long life together a long and happy life together and I love you both so much she hates but I think it's so sexy she's so beautiful and I tell her every That means a lot to me. It's a great privilege. privilege and I'm honored. Oh. See you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'd also like to thank everybody here, all the friends and family who joined us today on this joyous occasion, and to everyone that uh, made this day possible. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> it takes a strong and intelligent man to realize his dream. And to achieve his goals in life and love. Man is not afraid, afraid to live his life to its full and to break his full and full. But enough about me. I'm here to talk about his you know, Two people who have come together today to form a union that will surely last forever. I first met Wade 28 years ago in kindergarten. Me, Wade, naturally, awkward and shy. I used to gravitate towards Grace because he was so friendly and easy to get along with. The first day we met, even before saying a single word to each other, we got in trouble for being in the place. At that moment, I knew it was going to be a perfect partner in crime for me, and that we were destined to be great friends. Growing up with Wade was always full of adventure, from swimming in the Mercury and Tennessee case, to sneaking out of his parents' house to go <laughs> now that we're all grown up, we don't have to speak our parents anymore. <laughs> Maybe just away from our <laughs> We still have too many time for adventures, whether it's just having to be alone or just sharing a few beers. They say marriage is a man in heaven. Well, this one is a man in the time. Five years ago, I thought I wanted to start a career with him. We both have the courage to ask her out. And the rest is history. Since we've been together, I've never seen Wade so happy before in my life. So I'm glad he met some of us today. Someone that is down there with us is, and generally a good-hearted person. So with that being said, I'd like everyone to raise their glasses. I hope both of you have nothing but happiness, love, and success in all that you do in all my life Cheers. Salud!
Very good. Yeah. Here's your 